Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today I want to have a look on how to install the Sage WordPress Starter Theme by Roots.io on a Windows machine. The documentation on Roots website is a little bit incomplete when it comes to installing this on Windows. So without any further ado, let's make a new installation of this theme and see what we can improve on it and how we can install it on Windows to run flawlessly. So let's go in our WordPress installation in the install folder and let's go on to git bash in the terminal and go to the themes directory. Okay, now we have to run the commands on the documentation to install so first we have to run the command on the composer command on how to on installing the team okay now the composer is going to install the team and now composer has finished the installation and the first thing we can see is that there was absolutely no configuration in the install process. That's because TTY mode is not supported on Windows platform and this is not something that it's covered in the documentation. So what can we do to go into the configuration? We have to run some commands. First, we have to go into the team directory and now we should we need to run vendor slash bin slash sage and now we should go run the meta command uh, this command is we use this command to set up the meta information for the theme so let's say sage test team areas is Now, the next command is the same, vendor slash bin slash sage, but now we should go do the configuration. Now we have to set the development URL of the website. And I think I will make this larger because you cannot, I don't know if you can see it or not. So I'm just gonna make it bigger. So. Uh, what is the URL? Let me see what's the URL. It's, it's this one, rootsage.local. Local. Let's go, rootsage.local. Now we have to set a team directory. It's slash vp content, content, slash teams, slash sage. And that's all for this. The next command is, it's pretty similar, but we have to run pre preset. And now we need to choose the CSS framework. Let's choose bootstrap. Yes and no. Now, after we have run all these commands, we can run the yarn command in order to set up the theme. I will put the commands in the description. Now Yarn will take some time to install and until it will be installed, make sure you hit the like button to help the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so Yarn has finished installed and now what we should do is just run Yarn start. But we will run into a problem a webpack problem and it says that it couldn't find any matching patterns and I don't know why this problem is uh, not everyone has this error I think Mac users do not have this error this is happening only on the Windows machine and I will show you now how to fix this as we are in the team directory we should open it with a code editor so I'm gonna open it with VS code for me and now we should find the file that is 
making the problem. So the file is in the resources, assets, build, and this is the file webpack config.js. And the line of code that is making the problem is this one. These four lines of code are making the problem. So the solution I found is just to comment these two out, these four lines out, and all works normally. Everything is fine, and I had no error with it. So just comment out, save, and then let's try to run Sage again. To to yarn start, and guess what? Now it's all working. The website is working, everything's fine, uh, the webpack is functioning just as no normal, the CSS compiling is okay, the JS compiling is okay, everything is okay, but that was the problem why many people could not install Sage on Windows. I hope you find this video useful and if you did, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and share it.